Hi everyone, there is a new free tool introduced by Microsoft that helps you to improve the performance of your PC, manage the storage, free up space and handle apps. Only one in this free tool called Microsoft PC Manager. Let me show you every step how you can take advantage of this tool. Let's go. Here I am in my PC. Let's talk about the first step, which is installing Microsoft PC Manager if it's not yet available on your machine. So you can open the Microsoft Store and then type in the search Microsoft PC Manager. Once you are in the page, just install or download this tool. Alternatively, you can reach this website, aka.ms slash PC Manager 10,000 and you are going to open directly the download link and then you can install this link by running the exe file this because it's not so easy now to install it depends on the region where you are opening the browser and the store so the link that we have seen before this one will ensure you to install easily and download the exe file all right, let's start to open now Microsoft PC Manager that I have here already in my system tray. Or alternatively, you can search for Microsoft PC Manager and here we go. It's in beta now. This is in, important to know. And it, it opens, opens in a very small window. This is how the the meaning is of this of this window. It should be very small and tiny and just always running uh, in background uh, in the system try taking care of your machine this is the the meaning and this is the the idea to have this tool installed on your machine so one once you open it you can see a bunch of information like for example the first one which is we are now in the home turn on browser protection use edge as your default browser this is the first suggestion and then going down we can see pc boost you can free up space on your pc you can see the memory usage in this moment on my on my pc and this on the right you can see the temporary files which is three giga more or less so first thing I, that i can do it's clicking on the boost button this will reduce of course the memory usage in percentage of course and then as you can see the temporary files it's completely dropped and i have now zero so down below there is the health check we can see the last check and processes that are currently running on my pc then deep cleanup so this is the space that i have and then in the startup, this is a nice section where you can see how long it takes to start up your, your device. In this other section, opening this one, I, I'm dropped in the storage page, let's say. There is a scanning running now, and here I can see immediately the application cache, recycle bin, the web cache, and I have additional information which allow me to decide what kind of operation should I take in order to reduce the, the space? So as you can see, I have the edge temporary files, which should be turned on, of course. I have the edge cache, which is a lot. Websites now can take a lot of space on your PC machine if you don't clean up your browser cache often or frequently. And that's it. All I need to do now is click on proceed and I'm going to free up and clean space. Now it's already done because I already performed this yesterday. And okay, that's it for the first page for the home. Let's move on now on protection. I am now in a protection. So from directly from here, I can run and scan with Microsoft Defender antivirus. Now, little parentheses, 
if you see the text uh, running out the area of the section this is completely normal this is because i changed the scale of my monitor so you can see better what i am doing here but don't worry the text if you have the the proper scale set up for your monitor you are going to see the right text in the in the section so moving forward now we have windows update i can even run from directly from here the windows update i can see the default browser settings by clicking here this will open directly the configuration that will allow you to set the default browser and i have the taskbar repair you can restore the taskbar appearance if you mess it up with that and finally the last one is restore default apps this is a sort of repairing and restoring the previous settings that you have in windows now let's move on with storage in storage it's clear the word you can see your hard disk you can see your uh, files downloaded you can manage the downloaded files you can also inspect analyze large files you can have a look for duplicated files and this is also really important and this last one will open the storage sense of your windows settings let's move forward and we can see now hubs this is also pretty important because from here you can see how many apps are running on your device and you can see the memory usage for every app which will allow you to have a very great look and compare the memory usage across apps very very important so then we have started apps startup apps and here we can see the apps that will run automatically when you run and start your windows machine finally we have manage apps and this is just a link that will open your settings panel of windows and this will open the microsoft store let's go with toolbox the toolbox this give you the chance to turn on this one for example and what you are going to have at the very glance it's like a widget i would say so you can see the button to boost the usage of your memory immediately you can search across your device you can add tools you can add a toolbar if you want i want to now uh, disable this i don't want to use it you can also add custom links here we have msn for example by default but you can customize a bit this this page if you open it quite often let's move on and we can see repair tips now i don't have any kind of tips because i'm using daily this tool it's i would say it's quite normal that i don't have any suggestion here it's my machine it's a it's a really good to go and it's the performance it's quite good i would say let's go forward with the settings uh, page and this one will give you the chance to turn on the automatic boost of your pc this is very important because if you deal with multiple tools open at the same time you may experience the uh, high usage of your memory and this tool will run in background and is able to clean up the memory for the tools that are not in use in this specific moment i would say this is pretty good so i'm going to turn on this one finally here you have the shortcuts setting you can customize this part and this will allow you to better change settings just using uh, shortcuts finally let's move to the next section which is general settings and as you can see we have a bunch of toggle buttons here we have start pc manager automatically when i sign in to windows and this is a good idea to have this on get early access to experience the latest features this is also up to you if you want to have a stable version it's better if you keep off this toggle button 
auto update pc manager this is also important you are going to get the latest and greatest capabilities of this tool by having this turned on finally you can update now the pc manager if you want to immediately check if you have something to update and the appearance you can follow the system settings or you can change it by of course setting a light or dark it's uh, very up to you this part as well so let me then move with the next one which is language and you have several uh, languages available as you can see and then in the about us it's uh, just a, a recap and a summary of the current version and then you can also have a look to the Microsoft PC manager web site web and site and let me open it this uh, website it's still uh, on an uh, ongoing uh, Microsoft is uh, working on uh, on the website to provide the uh, I guess the best information that you can get from here for the moment so I'm opening uh, this website from my region and as you can see now I have the button coming soon so apparently I'm not able to install this through the website but here you have just the main informations to get familiar with this tool let me know in the comment down below what do you think about Microsoft PC Manager I hope you enjoyed this video please consider to subscribe and like if yes I hope to see you next time. Bye.